The following video is meant to be an introduction to the concept of completing the square. In this video, we're going to examine how to discover the process that is used to complete the square of a quadratic function. Now, if we're given two binomials and they're perfect squares, x minus 5 squared, x plus 2 squared, you know, what happens when you square a binomial? And so we know to square something means to multiply by itself. So we're going to go ahead and write down x minus 5 times x minus 5. And then we're going to just distribute. x to x is x squared. x to negative 5 is negative 5x. Five negative 5 to x is negative 5x. And negative 5 to negative 5 is positive 25. You combine like terms, you get x squared minus 10x plus 25. So when we square x minus 5 squared, we get x squared minus 10x plus 25. Now, you know, what happens when you square a binomial? Let's look at this one, for example. You know, how does our original relate to our answer? You know, I'm squaring x minus 5 squared. The first term I get is an x squared. All right, so I have an x. I get an x squared. You know, I'm squaring my x minus 5 squared, and I end up with the 25 as my last term. I start out with the 5, so maybe I can see a pattern there. But what about this negative 10? How does the negative 10 relate to the negative 5 and x? Well, if you look at it, you have negative 5x and negative 5x. That's twice negative 5x. So if you think about it, if we think of it in terms of, let's say, a minus b, as we have in the past, you know, my first term is squared. You know, my last term is squared. And that middle term, you know, I have minus here twice. Looks like a times b, you know, that five times x. So twice a b. And so there's my pattern. Let's see if that works. I mean, this is a plus sign, so it's a little different. But let's see if maybe that pattern works over here x plus 2 times x plus 2. We would distribute x to x is x squared. x to 2 is 2x. Two, 2 to x is 2x. And 2 to 2 is 4. Combine like terms, I get x squared plus 4x plus 4. So that's what happens when I square a binomial. Again, let's look for a pattern from the beginning to the end. Let's see if it holds from what we saw before. The first thing we saw is if we use, let's say, a plus b. You know, our pattern here said our first one's going to be a squared. So I have an x. I do get x squared. So that holds. You know, b is 2. I have 4. That is a b squared, just like before. Now, this one said minus 2ab because I was subtracting. Now I'm adding. So I'm going to do plus. But let's see if this 2ab holds. You know, a and b, you have x and 2, 2x. You do have two of them. So that is twice a, b. And so the pattern when you square binomial is the middle term is twice the product of the terms in the binomial. So how can we use this to make a perfect square binomial? If I give this problem, if I have x squared plus 16x plus c, and I want to find c so that it makes a perfect square. We've learned that this 16 is twice the product of your binomial that's being squared. So you're going to have to cancel out the twice. So that's why you take half of the, you know, it says linear term. Remember, linear term is the one with the degree of 1. So you're going to take half the linear term. And what that does is it cancels out that 2. And that gives you 8. Square the resulting number. And so we have 8 squared. And that is 64. And so I have x squared plus 16x. The c value that I'm finding is plus 64. So that is the c that goes from there. Now, if you want to make the perfect square from here, you know, what number did you square to get 64? 
and that's eight. And so this factors into x, because x times x is x squared, plus eight gives you 64. So x plus eight squared is x squared plus 16 x plus 64. So in order to complete the square, you take half the linear term, square your result, that's going to be your constant value. The number that you squared represents the B term in the binomial. So when you complete the square, you get your 64, and you figure out what binomial squared it is. Let's take a look at the next example. You know, how can we make a perfect quadratic square from this? So what we're going to do is the same idea. We're going to take half our linear term. So 6 and divide by 2 is 3. I'm going to square that number. So 3 squared gives me 9. So the quadratic that I have is x squared plus 6x and then plus 9. That is the perfect square, the trinomial. If I want to factor it down, I have to take a look. You know, x squared means you know, I have my x. What number did I square to get 9? I get squared at positive 3, so x plus 3. And so this is the kind of the process we're going to use for completing the square in order to solve a quadratic. So understand these steps and how we find our constant, how we find our c value for it, the process behind it, the pattern behind it, before moving on to the rest of the videos.